I'm working on a video that explores the physics behind the overbalanced wheel. The overbalanced wheel has been advocated as a perpetual motion device for the past 1,000 years or so. As a side project, I thought, why not build an overbalanced wheel myself? Here it is, a wheel with four pendulums. Note that the pendulums on the left extend further from the axis of rotation, so the gravitational force should exert a counterclockwise torque and keep the wheels spinning, in spite of the fact that friction and air resistance will try to make it stop. As you can see, there's an initial adjustment period in the rotation, then the wheel settles into a regular perpetual motion. The extra energy required to overcome the losses due to friction and air resistance must come from the gravitational force that pulls preferentially on the left side of the wheel. And if I were to reduce the friction and air resistance, we could use that extra energy to, say, power a light bulb. So this is free energy, right? If you want to know more about the physics behind these perpetual motion devices, check out my next video. I'll describe in detail why videos like this one must be fake.